Good Tuesday morning. I got my race kit. Look at that. 332. That's just that's annoying. It's just like one off from from 333. That would have been so awesome. It feels like just 20 minutes ago I actually entered a deep sleep, so I'm not that happy about being up awake now. Got a meeting at 8. I'm gonna go for breakfast with Venetian. <laughs> So, this is quite scary. 20,000 nerds about to descend on the breakfast buffet. I, I'm worried. Wow. Well, this is crazy. This is nuts. Looks like we're in a car park. I am, might be. This is incredible. This is biblical, guys. This is crazy. It's been it's like walked a hundred meters into this car park. It's, it's like lambs to the slaughter. <laughs> or you can eat Vegas. Uh, I can't do that. I can't do the salt thing. Um, sugars the okay. Okay, Daniel and I just walked out of EBC Zone A. C to A, and it's basically in Hall A, at the very end of uh, the Venetian whatever. Annoyingly, I showed the address this morning to a few people, and they didn't know where it was. So, uh, but I, we still made the meeting in time. Did you have the same problem finding it? No. Okay, it's just me and the people I spoke to. The A and the B's are really huge. Yeah, but it said Zone A is the first item of the thing. That, that threw people. And what does EVC mean? No one, no one seems to have given me a good answer for that. Okay. Oh, look at these refugees. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna take a break. What's happening? Um, there's a traffic jam, right? I wonder if there's another way to get out of the Venetian uh, part here. It, this is just there's a bit of a choke point, and there could be a stampede. Okay, we've learned it's a partner uh, queue. <laughs> We need, to, we need to edge through here. A little bit stuck there, a little bit. And I'm trying to work out my schedule. The I was recommended these uh, Con 3XX sessions, but um, but when you have, try have a look at them on the on on this website, you can see that. Uh, there's no time and there's no location, so what's up with that? I'm just deadly confused. So yeah, this this was my Tuesday. Um, it was filled with the breakfast and I had a meeting at 8. And I had my um, the lunch, which I didn't go to. What is this? Um, yeah, so I had really nothing today. Uh, I don't feel like going to the reception, um, and I'll watch the James Hamilton, I think, uh, once it's recorded. I don't like the crowds, and there's definitely a lot of crowds. I mean, I guess I'm, AWS is a victim of its own success. Um, yeah, so, um, but I do have stuff tomorrow, so that's what my, my schedule looks like. I wish this was a little bit better presented. Um, yeah, the, and the app on, yeah, the app is also a nightmare. But I'm just about to go off to Data Dog Drinks, which is good. I thought I'd just throw in that I thought it was interesting that Alibaba 
um, yesterday announced that they have four new data centers. I guess they're trying to ruffle the feathers of AWS, but I think um, Amazon will have something in Dubai very soon. And um, I've used Ali Cloud in a personal capacity, and it's like, and it, you can't even compare Ali Cloud. It's the 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 web console is terrible. It's it's a terrible ripoff of a uh, AWS console and uh, support is non-existent and the product is not very good. I think Amazon um, hopefully will keep it on excellent trajectory and, and really like kick some ass still. Um, but at the same time, I'm all for competition. I've been looking for a good place to eat around here and I think the food court in Harrods is quite good. We've got pizza over there and soups and salads and uh, a, an alright looking sushi bar. Prices are well, Las Vegas. So at the Datadog drinks I met with Ian Rabinovich who's great at the whole community stuff. He answered my tweets and and address my question so he's, so yeah I was pleased to meet with people like that and the people I met there oh nice socks thanks I was hoping to meet other people in the OTT industry the same as my employer Spool and we got to meet a couple of ex uh, Netflix employees and current uh, ne uh, Netflix employees and I think the best story I heard um, was the background with HBO so HBO Evidently, was the first one to have like um, to to be uh, the first sort of operator on ca on on cable. So when they were ha had their position as a as a cable operator in the U.S., um, a lot of the smaller film content providers didn't want to sell to them because they they thought that that they were the they're going to be a monopoly. So HBO funded and started their own um, TV series and things like that. So they actually were the first people to do what like what Netflix is doing and and the Amazon Video. You know, Netflix and Amazon are actually funding their own media. Uh, you know, producing their own content. HBO was the first. This is why they have so so many great shows on HBO. But the interesting thing is that you know Netflix is so much better than HBO. Um, but HBO and uh, and then the other tidbit that that I found was quite interesting is HBO actually don't have their own technology platform they use um, a platform that was um, done by major league baseball i mean I, is that true uh anyway i thought that was that was uh, interesting and um yeah i met some other folks from life ray and and uh, an amazon employee and uh you know, the data dog guys all quite nice so um yeah good drinks a bit one of those very loud sort of places so i'm glad to be back and um, yeah, I'm getting geared up for the, um, pumped up for the race. See you there at 6 a.m. in the cold? Mm, yeah, if I knew it was going to be like this, I probably wouldn't have signed up. <laughs> anyway, good night. Please give the video a like.